Hi everyone, this is just a very quick tutorial for the producers coming on board to the Great British Food Hub. Um, these are the files so far that I've received from some of you. Not very many and we're now on the 20th of September and the Food Assembly platform will close on the 28th and we won't have access to any files after then. So, first of all, if you haven't already done so, go to your Food Assembly account. Uh, log on to your account. Up in the top right you'll find your name. Click on your name. Click on my account. And then right at the bottom, below the save bar, is a little link where you can request your personal data. You click on that link and within about 48 hours the Food Assembly will email you a link that you can click to access all your files. Um, you then, it's then really important that you save those files because that link is only live for a a matter of hours, if not two days at the max. Um, so you need to click on the link that they send you, open up the files and save them onto your computer so that you've got a permanent copy of them. So these are the people that have so far emailed me their files. I'm going to show you the files that I was sent. This is my farm here, our Dunan farm. You'll see my file has a little zip on it. That's because once I saved all of my files to make it a bit more compact and easy to share, I highlighted them all, just like this. Hold down your shift key, highlight the files you want, and use your right mouse key, go to send to, and you can create a zip folder. Basically, it shrinks all of the files down in size, makes them um, less big, obviously, and keeps them all in one file. One file with a little zip, and you can then send that zip file on its own with all of your other files contained within it. So back to my file. These are all the files that the Food Assembly gave me access to. Um, some of them, like invoices and documents, are relating to all of your sales with all of your customers over the entire time that you've been on the Food Assembly. It's also all of your purchases as a customer. Things that I neither need nor want, but if you send me all of your files, I'll just delete what I don't need. The important ones are um, this file here. That's my name, Gillian Mackay. So these are the very basic details that I used when I set up my Food Assembly account. So when you log on just initially as a customer, you have to give them a few bits of details. So it's got my name, my email address, my phone number, my address, and um, pretty much not more than that. So if we come out of there, the other one it says, I think this is the right one, company, and our Farms Farm is my company name. Hopefully this has just got all my business details. Yep, so it's got my business address, my VAT number, um, phone number and email, all to do with the business. So that's also a useful, useful one for you to send me because that needs set up as well. Uh, assembly is just a list of all the assemblies that you've ever joined. It's no use whatsoever. Pictures, this picture file is your personal image as a customer um, and your image that you use as a producer, sort of where it says um, a picture of your premises or something or or the inside of your kitchen, whatever file you've uploaded that represents your business, um, that's in there. I'm happy if you send me those as well because they will end up on your file, end up in your account on the Great British Food Hub. Back to the list of files again. Too many files on this computer. Bear with. There we go. The important file, the really, really important one that I need, is up here. Um, again, it's a file on its own. It's called, it's got the name of your user producer. So mine's called Our Dune and Farm. I go in there and there's a file of pictures. That is going to be quite a large file of lots of images. Happy for you to send me your images so long as. Um, you somehow label them, save them as, each of them save them as the name of the product so that I can tie it into the product because you're sending me two separate files. Um, it might be quite tricky for me to match up which products re refer to um, which images. So by going into your picture file and, oh, crikey, and naming them, you would have to go and view them. 
Mine won't be very pretty because it's all just meat. Oh, pigs. Okay. Let's see if there's anything that looks like a product. Yep, there we go. So what I would do is go in to save it as and save it as pork and cider burgers. The other thing you can do is once you know that's what that is, you can go in and rename it. No, nope, it's not letting me do that. Okay, you get the idea. I, if you're going to send me images, I need them not saved as a whole load of numbers that mean nothing to me, but saved as a description of the product. Back to the file. This is the important one. So go into producers and it's product. Now, some of you might just have two lines. Um, I have an egg producer and he has two lines. He's got medium eggs and large eggs. If I scroll down this list, down on the right hand side here, you'll see the number of rows increasing, increasing, increasing. We're at 530, 600, 700, 900, 1200, right up to around about two and a half thousand lines. Now, if I was to upload this all into the new system, I would have two and a half thousand items listed. We don't want that. Many of these are duplicates, as you can see. I'll make it a little bit wider so you can see. Duplicates, the only difference being is the weight. And this is just due to the way that the food assembly created items on the system. So every size that I've ever created of double loin chops, lamb double loin chops, has been listed as a separate item. So going up to the top of the list, what I need you to do is if you're in a similar situation with duplicates items, is leave one item and delete all the rest. So just click it, hold it down to highlight it. All those minced lambs are now highlighted. Right hand mouse and delete. And now I just have one lamb minced. Now it's 430 grams and I know that I'll have different weights than that. But it's a lot easier for me to add the variants in than to create 50 items and then delete half of them again afterwards. So here's another one, pork ribs. There are dozens and dozens of pork ribs. I'll leave the top one and I'm going to click and highlight all the rest of them. There are a lot. Right click with the mouse, hit delete. Now I just have one pork ribs. So even though I've got two and a half thousand lines here, to do that with all of my items is going to take me five minutes maximum. It's just a case of going through, highlighting all but one of that product. Um, and that'll make things an awful lot easier for me. Uh, and you don't want two and a half thousand things listed on your file. You don't want to be sifting through all of that and deleting them at a later date. So go through this file, streamline it so that each item is only listed once then save it to your computer and send it to me. Um, you'll have been given the email address, but just in case you need a note of it again, just type it in a box here because spelling my farm name can sometimes cause people grief. So it's Gillian at ardenon.co.uk. So it's Gillian with a G, Ardenon spelled A-R-D-U-N-A-N.co.uk. That's where you can send me the files. So, Bear in mind, we're now on September 20th. You will only have access to the Food Assembly platform, which is where your data will be available to you uh, at midnight on the 28th. After that, the website is coming down. So those are the files that I was allowed to access. I saved them all to my computer. I then selected them all. And just to show you again, select all the files. Once they were saved onto my computer, right clicked it. Oh, I can't do it because they're already in a zip file. If you right click, click all your files, a uh, compressed zip file will be on the list. You can save it into a much more compressed, condensed file. Um, hopefully that's been of use to you. Like I said, these are the only producers that I've received any files from. And some of them haven't uh, sent what I need. I can't think of any of hand but some of you have sent the link 
to your food assembly account that you've been sent. I can't access that. I need you to access it and save your files. You save your files, put them into a zip folder if you want, and then just fire them all off to me and I'll get you all set up at this end. So again, these are the files that I was given access to. Pretty much everyone's the same. Uh, click them all one at a time when you've got access to them. Save them onto your computer so you've got a permanent record and then send them off to me. Any problems, you've got my email address there. Drop me a little line or you can phone me or text me on 077 29 347 297. So time is running out if you want me to help you upload your information onto the system. If you don't or if you want to do it yourself, it's absolutely fine. The system is super easy to use. I'm going to be doing more tutorials on how to, first of all, register and log in. Super easy. Uh, to become a producer takes a couple of minutes. To become a host takes a couple of minutes. To create items, really easy to use. Obviously, it's a different platform from the Food Assembly. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's more intuitive than the Food Assembly was. Um, and like I said, I'll do some tutorials on that. So if you want to create your own items from scratch, you're more than welcome to. Um, I should be able to give you all access to the site around about the 26th, hopefully, uh, which will give you a good week or so to play around, familiarise yourself with it. And if you want, spend a jolly evening creating your new products from scratch. Anyway, hope that was helpful and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.